Welcome to Heat and Energy. We've discussed energy before, but in general, energy is the ability to do work or produce heat. We know that energy comes in many forms, and we've talked about what some of those forms are. But in chemistry, we typically talk about energy in terms of heat. So what exactly is heat? Well, the first association people make with the term heat, or the concept of heat, is temperature. And the very first thing I'm going to tell you is that heat is not temperature. Temperature measures average kinetic energy, whereas heat is the transfer or flow of energy from a warmer area to a cooler area. So what does it mean to have energy flow from a warmer area to a cooler area? Well, we can illustrate this by thinking about what happens when you hold an ice cube in your hand. If you hold an ice cube in your hand, you know that your hand feels cold. But let's talk about what's going on there with energy. Your hand is at a higher temperature, so it's the warmer area, than the ice cube, which is the cooler area. Our definition of heat tells us that energy is going to flow from your hand to the ice cube. Because energy is leaving your hand, you feel cold. It's important to note that the ice cube is not giving your hand coldness. It's just that energy is leaving your hand, and that's what makes you feel cold. So it's a new way to think about what heat is, different from what we sort of use in everyday language. But now that we have an idea of what heat is, we can talk about how to measure it. So how do we measure heat? Well, heat is represented by the letter Q, a lowercase q. That's the symbol or the variable we use to represent heat. And we measure this in terms of two units. One of them is joules. The unit is J, capital J. And the other unit that we measure heat in is calories. And we abbreviate that CAL. Both of these units are used to measure energy, or heat. What's the difference between them, though? Well, joules is the SI unit. So it's pretty commonly used. But calories is also commonly used. And there's a good reason for that. Calories has a nice definition. And that's because calories are based on water. One calorie is defined as the amount of energy needed to raise the temperature of one gram of water by one degree Celsius. It's important to point out that this calorie that we're using with a lowercase c, this calorie has a lowercase c, is different from the calorie written with an uppercase or capital C. This calorie with the capital C refers to what you would see on a food label. And they are related, but they're not the same thing. So one capital C calorie is equal to a thousand little c calories, which is equal to one kilocalorie if we use a prefix. But it's important to know that it's this little c calorie that we'll be using to measure energy. This is the important one. Now there's also a relationship between joules and calories that let us convert back and forth. And the relationship, the conversion between the two, is that there are 4.18 joules in one calorie. And this relationship is very useful to know. That wraps up our lesson on heat and energy. Write down any questions you have in your notes and bring them with you to class.